working as well, and they have some childcare. But as they advance, they may run into that cliff where suddenly if they're making too much, then they'll lose things and they're not incentivized to continue to grow and work, and that's gotta change. We need a sliding scale. As a doctor, I like to compare it to a diabetic who's say on 25, insulin, 25 units of insulin, and you know I think it's 50% of Ohio is, is farmland. And I tell you, I, I love being in Ohio, and, and I love go, getting home. And um, but uh, you know we're we're confronted with uh, incredible amount of red tape. And uh, you know I can tell you firsthand, my friend Mr. Gibbs is leading the way on trying to reduce regulations and making uh, sure in every way that we can that we make it easier for you to, you to go about and do your job. I uh, recently produced a video that we'll be putting out and uh, I started off, and this is more for our urban folks I guess, uh, saying you know your food doesn't just come from the grocery store. It comes from people that are out there and have their hands in the soil and that are producing it for us and uh, we got to keep that in mind. So you know we understand that not all regulations are bad, some of them make sense, uh, but your business, and it is a business obviously, a, a big business, and um, it, it's confronted with so many of the regulations that really tie us up and make it difficult for us to expand and to do our job effectively. And so just know that uh, we're here and uh, we're going to try and have your back on those issues. Thank you.